What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and it's another HelloFresh home cooking meal. I'm going to try and make my own homemade peppercorn sauce to go with this sirloin steak meal that they've sent with lyonnaise potatoes. I'm only thinking it's pronounced lyonnaise because it's spelt like mayonnaise so I'm hoping it's lyonnaise. I'm sure that you guys in the comments will correct me if I am wrong as I have seen recently crusty canes that's right crustaceans I don't know do I right anyway idiot's guide idiot we're ready to go aren't we so there is six instructions on this and it is from their steak night range like I said on the yesterday's video they have different um, different like options like yesterday's curry one was a rapid one so the um this is from the steak night met section because they'll, they'll have like different steaks and things and the one i'm doing tomorrow i'm going to do this tomorrow pork and cheese and mash is from their family section so and it also tells you if it's one of your five a day or two of your five a day and all that sort of stuff i did get a few people asking is there a nutrition information and all that sort of thing the ingredients and the nutrition it comes on the card for you so that is this one I mean, I'm not sure if you can see that because I'm, I'm in focus, but when you buy it from HelloFresh, you get this, these cards come with it, so it tells you how to cook it. All the ingredients are already ready for you. Um, it's really easy. It just tells you the few little extras you, you need. Generally, it's like salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. Um, yeah, so it tells you all your nutritional information, all the allergens, and everything else you need to know really about the meal. So if you, do, if you are interested in getting the HelloFresh, you can hit that QR code there, or you can hit the link in the description, or you can use code Just Dino, and you're going to get 60% off your first box, um, which is like you can get a week box, and then you can get 25% off your next two months boxes. So that's another seven or eight boxes. Uh, and I tell you what, just just click on the link and check the um, check the menu, and you can go to the the menu for the next four or five weeks. Some looks like some absolutely belted meals coming soon. Right, I'm on with this anyway. Steak, sirloin steak and peppercorn sauce with lyonnaise potatoes. Let's get cooking. So we've got the potatoes, the red onion and the echelon shallot. We've got some fresh parsley, some ground black pepper. We've got some apple cider vinegar here. We've got some chicken stock paste and of course... This beautiful sirloin steak. Now, there is three. I, I have ordered for three people for all our meals. So there is actually three of these sirloin steaks. However, I am the only person in this house who will eat steak. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this for one. So I'm going to have to do some tweaking to the um, tweaking to the recipe. Well, to the to the amount of things so i'll be up using all them potatoes and all that i'll be tweaking it so it comes down and just for one person and then i'm gonna give my mother and father the other two steaks and the rest of the ingredients so they can make this this hello fresh at home because my mum and my mum and dad really they're into this hello fresh they've been they've been customers of hello fresh for a long time because there's only two of them it's easy for them to just get the right stuff and without having any food waste and things like that so Let's get into it. As always, I have magnetized the idiot's guide to my extractor fan, so there will be no mistakes. So I am just gonna use a couple of potatoes for me. It says chop into two centimeters chunks, no need to peel, I have washed them. Um, pop onto a large baking tray, drizzle with oil, season with salt and pepper, then toss to coat. So I'm gonna cut these up into little chunks. Chop one potato up, I think one potato is going to be enough. I think there's <laughs> there's plenty of potatoes there for me when I've got a steak as well. So I'm just going to actually use one potato. That's put into a little tray. Got a drizzle with oil, some salt and pepper. And then we'll get them like roasted. Plenty of pepper and oil and salt. Should be beautiful these. So these go back in the oven now for 25 to 35 minutes and give them a bit of a mix up halfway through. Probably could have done in the air fryer actually, but I'm going to stick to the oven, stick to the ingredients and the um, <laughs> the instructions as I'm given. Guess what the next step is? You guessed it. Chopping onions. <laughs> Check it out. 
Right, so we get these onions on to caramelise. And these are going to go on the potatoes actually. So I'll get them straight in here in this little frying pan. Get these cooking. Stir and cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Wow, seriously caramelising these onions. Okay. So salt and pepper this steak. I've done that side. I don't have any fancy salt unfortunately. That's nearly ready to go in now. But now it's time for me to make my own peppercorn sauce. So I've cut the shallots up, which by the way, I don't know what the difference between a shallot and an onion is. This one just seems a little less red than this onion. It still made me cry. Um, we've got to add that to this pan of a little bit of oil, cracked black pepper, cider vinegar, and then chicken stock paste and water, and then creme fraiche. Oh, I didn't get my creme fraiche out. That's what I'm missing. It did say it on there. I'm not missing it, it's in the fridge. Right, okay. Let's make this peppercorn sauce then. Once I add the shallot until softened, five minutes, add the cracked black pepper and stir in the side of vinegar. Right, so the cracked black pepper is here. And the side of vinegar is here. Allow the vinegar to bubble away and then stir in the chicken, chicken stock paste with the water. So I need it. About 50 ml of water. I have added the stock to the water. I didn't do this last time. I put the stock in on its own. And uh, I was told that this is the better way to do it. So, there we go. <coughs> oh wow, proper vinegar it. And allow it to reduce for three minutes and then stir in the creme fraiche. So this water will reduce down now. While that's doing that, the potatoes are cooking away nicely. I've added the red onions as per instructions. So they can just keep warm now until we're ready to fry the steak. So the creme fraiche is in now. And this should start coming together as a nice peppercorn sauce. So stir in the creme fraiche and then remove from the heat. So I've got to remove that from the heat now. Just leave it to one side. And I think the parsley goes in there towards the end. So we're onto the steak now. So, I do have a griddle pan, but I'm going to just cook it in this because It'll be uh, it'll be fine in this frying pan. Heat a drizzle of oil in a large frying pan on a high heat. Once the once hot, lay the steaks in the pan and brown for one minute on each side. Lower the heat slightly and cook for another one to two minutes each side for medium rare. Cook for one to two minutes. So basically, cook that to how you like it. So let's get this steak on. Okay, let's go. Let's drop the steak in there nicely. So that is about perfect for me. I like mine not well done, but nearly well done. So, just going to get that out now and lay it rest over here while we add, it says we've got to reheat this peppercorn sauce now and add the parsley while that's resting and then it's ready to serve. So here we go. Now, I know that I'm going to get some hate because I have actually cut the fat off because I'm not really a fan of the fat of the steak. But look at that in there. 
looks fantastic. And these potatoes also look amazing. Red onions, regular viewers of the channel will know that I'm a big red onion fan, but look at that, look at that steak. So, let's get this homemade peppercorn sauce over the top of it. There we go. Take a closer look at that. How nice does that look? I'm gonna give these potatoes a go. Oh wow. Well. Skin on. I'd call them like roast potatoes, but they're, they're not quite roast potatoes. They're not crispy like roast potatoes. The skin gives it a bit of crisp. Lyonnaise potatoes. Quite nice. The pepper and the onion really make them really nice, actually. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan. Right. I'm going to try this sauce, this peppercorn sauce. Homemade peppercorn sauce. The, the sun's out for some reason now. It was snowing half an hour ago. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. I have never made homemade peppercorn sauce. That is unbelievable. Wow, I can't wait to crack on with this steak. So, with the 60% off you can get on your first order, you can get a meal like this, steak, peppercorn sauce, potatoes, for about £1.60, I think it is, per portion. That's incredible. So if you haven't already, hit that link in the description or scan this QR code here or use code JUSTDINO on the HelloFresh website. Go to their website, check out the all the, all the recipes. The next few weeks look unbelievable. And um, you get 25% off for the next two months as well. This, I am so impressed with this. So I'm going to go eat this nice steak and the best peppercorn sauce I've ever tasted. That's not even a joke, that is 100% true. And I, and I made it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's see if my mum can make it as well. So I'll, uh, she'll have to let me know in comments what, what, what you thought, mum, when I give you all this stuff tea time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again tomorrow for another cooking one. I think we're doing a fam one from the family recipes this tomorrow. Pork and cheesy mash pie. So stay tuned. Did somebody say just oh, What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.